At the end of my first trip to Nepal, Ramas asked me to help him get one of his teeth fixed. It had been cracked in half from corner to corner. At that time I was out of money and was leaving the next day, so one of the first things we did the second time around was to go straight to the dentist. First the dentist drilled the rotten part of the tooth, then he cleaned it up and sculpted a new tooth, then he cured the tooth. It was all pretty standard except for one thing. All of it was done without any Novocaine or any numbing agent whatsoever. Ramos not only didn't flinch during any part of it, he also argued with the dentist about the price afterward. It ended up costing $12. Raju tells his story as well. My story, one thing, you know, I coming first time Nepal, I come my house in first is Gaira Kochi town, you know, then my father is Nepali army, you know, and my father two 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 marriage, you know, one two marriage and two, two two mom, you got two mom, I have two mom, you know, one mom and my hand is working, you know, in like that, you know, my hand working and my father taking hospital and he say and he he and he uh, my has my my hand in plaster you know plaster and and after after one month two months and he he wake up you know wake up and my hand you know like that same like tarwar you know big knife big knife same like big knife and he say you go my house he he's, he's not my mom really you know but he's he's my character I'm sana malaki one sorry nick mom nick mom you know and my mother is going my house in. My house in Pokhara, you know, Pokhara, he stay Pokhara, my one sister, big sister, and my mother stay in Pokhara, and my brother and my, me, I'm, you know, stay in my character, Matthew, can't say I'm like, Nick Montemus, uh, Nick, my stay him, and he say, you know what, her, he, he, he don't she work, him, he don't, he don't do anything. He say, you you do every, everywhere, you know, and I do, 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 and he hit me everywhere, and and then father also hit me, you know, and that's why I, I don't stay house, you know, and I don't stay house, I go one class school, but <laughs> but there, you know, miss also hit me, you know, and then I don't like heat, you know, when heat, I don't like neighbor, I don't like man, you know, that's why I coming in the street, and I am street, one man, and I I looking for you and for I meet for you every time, you know, and you help me some. As I got to know the children, I was just beginning to recognize the situation they were in, but I had no level of understanding at that point. It seemed as if every hour I spent talking with them gave new information about a life I had no context for processing. I'd gone into this project with the knowledge that I had to try and remember that I was seeing through Western eyes and try not to judge the situations I encountered with westernized standards. That afternoon I began to realize how much my upbringing and code of ethics affected my behavior towards these children, and how that behavior might affect the study. With that realization in mind, I resolved to keep helping in any meager way I could. Sitting back and simply observing when I had the power to affect a small change was not an option for me. Objectivity be damned, I had to intervene. Arjun and Ramsaran were brothers, and sometimes stayed with their parents at night. They didn't stay every night because the room was small. 
Arjun explains. And if uh, my father and mother, two sister, small sister, and one big brother, me, and coming sometime he, I'm also going to lose something, sometime coming something. Big family. <coughs> We continued to meet every morning to walk, talk, and eat. Each day, a few more boys would come and go. Eventually, a small group of regulars were there every day. Anyone was welcome, though, and everyone knew I would pay for lunch and dinner. Our little group was sometimes as small as three, and sometimes as large as 13. During dinner, the boys would often joke with each other and see who could do the best Jackie Chan impression. They would discuss what we'd seen that day and sometimes ask me about America. I told them that I thought they would have a great time at Disney World, at which point Arjun asked, What's a Disney World? Hello, brother. This hand, this hand, like that, eating. I eat egg. <laughs> and I eat anda. And I eat vegetable. And I tomato sauce. And this is the vegetable sauce. Potato. Potato. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Kishore Ramas and Kumar would reenact fight sequences from Chinese movies they'd seen. And on one particular night, Ram Saran spent 20 minutes telling me why the vampire movie Blade with Wesley Snipes was the best movie ever made.